you can sell Leonardo AI generated designs as stickers on Etsy. Take this simple frog sticker made by AI, maybe Leonardo, maybe Midjourney, but it's 100% AI. So this only one sticker made 43 sales in only 2 months. You can already imagine the opportunity here. That's why I wanna show you in this video exactly how to find niches like this cute frog to make designs using Leonardo AI for free to sell as stickers. Ok I'm gonna use Everbee to find the niches that sell, you can also try it for free link down in description, just sign up for an account and download this Everbee extension as well and it will show up in the left corner right here. Now you will need a sticker topic idea like in this example the frog is animals or you name it you can pick any evergreen niche. I use these days Pinterest to get this topic idea so I just type in Pinterest search bar sticker and you will see some design ideas, for example this skull here. So let's head back to Etsy and search skull sticker and let's open this design so you can see 15 sales and this listing has only been created 3 months ago. And this is also a great example, this seller combined two different niches, a skull with mushroom and this is called the cross niching which is pretty much combining two different niches to target even a small amount of people. Anyway you can also just click on this product analytics to see all the stickers in the page with their information without having to check every single listing individually. You get all the information here from the price to the monthly sales and the total sales and the reviews and how old the listing is and some other information. So here I sort by the most monthly sales by clicking twice in this arrow and not from the total sales cause you will get most of the time old niches that are pretty saturated. Monthly sales are the way to go for me. So let's see for example this design flower skull looks like and when you open it click on analyze listing and scroll down to see what keywords this design is ranking for. I think the main keyword is this pastel gold so let's paste it on Etsy search bar and you can see there is some traffic for this keyword in the sticker product so there is some demand. And here is our design bestseller but the problem here is the competition, 7000 is a lot especially when there is only a decent monthly traffic so let's move on to the next niche. For example this skeleton dancing sticker almost 500 sales in only 7 months. Alright there is 2000 results so I could enter this niche but the ideal results for me is always under 1000 to actually have a good chance to sell. Now let's see this next one holographic cat skeleton with 400 sales. Alright now that's good, 800 in the competition and most of the designs I see they're not actually cat skeletons so I think the results are even less, maybe around 200 and even less could be. So use this method with different niche topics and you will get a bunch of niche ideas. Anyway also I like to check if there is other designs selling as well in the niche besides the original that we found. And indeed the other designs are selling as well as you can see here, not bad. If you don't have access to Leonardo AI yet, just type your email and click count me in and after a couple hours you will get an email to sign in. So to create the image, click on this AI image generation and you will have 150 credits every 9 hours and it's totally free. As you can see I already generated some images for the niche using a simple prompt, I copied the title of the selling design from Etsy and I added to it black and colorful illustration and I got some pretty good results from only the first try. Now you can change the style of the designs if you like, I used in the first generation Dream Shaper. Now let's try another style. For example, let's go with the Leonardo Creative and click on Generate. Alright, not bad. And there's more styles that you can choose from, so you have a lot of choices. And of course, you can change the prompt as well. This is just a basic prompt. If you're looking for more detailed prompts, you can head to the community feed and look on what other people are using. There is also a search bar you can use, for example, to look for a specific style, in my case, holographic, but it's disabled now for some reason but basically when you search you will get already made designs in that style you're searching for and if for example you like this image you will see the prompt right here and just change it like here you can change Vietnamese girl to whatever niche you're actually working on. Now after you're done generating the image you will need to download it and upscale it to make it a good quality then remove the background. So first to download the image let's say it's this one so here just click on this download icon then head to this website to upscale it, I will link it in the description. So here upload or drag your image like this, then this scale option I change it to 8 and click submit then wait a couple seconds and you can notice a difference pretty easily so just click download. Now to remove the background I use photoshop but in case you don't have it you can use the free alternative for a peer. So after you open your image go to select and choose subject and automatically the cat will be selected but you can see the sticker is still selected as well so to fix that use the quick selection tool and just fix the selection 
and that's the PNG design. Now you will need some sticker mockups. Well, you can use the default mockups from Printify or Printful, but most of the best selling stickers on Etsy use their own mockups, and you can get these mockups for free from Creative Fabrica. I will just search for a sticker mockup and you will get a lot of ideas. But the one that I see works very well on Etsy is this one, a hand holding a sticker. So I will just download this one. You will get a PSD file like this, you can open it with Photoshop and even Photop. Now double click on this layer, then here you you can just drag your image and hide this sticker one and press ctrl s to save it but we're gonna need the sticker effect so just add a white stroke to the image and here you go now i'm just gonna make it a bit bigger like this and that's it and if you're interested more about leonardo ai you can watch this video next